today we're going to extend the kinds of data definitions that we understand to talk about data definitions that refer back and forth between each other. This is called mutual recursion, and we're going to start by looking at a simple data definition for a tree that does just that. Here we have the data definitions for two trees and three trees. A two tree is either a number or a pair of two trees created by make two. A three tree is either a number or three two trees put together. That means that when we go back and forth between them, we get a two tree whose children are three trees, whose children are themselves two trees, and so on and so forth. To understand how to write programs that work with two trees and three trees, we can just follow the same rules that we've seen all semester. We write down templates that follow the structure of our data, and when we have references to other kinds of data definitions, we insert references to the templates for those data definitions themselves. When we just follow these same rules, we'll see that everything falls out naturally for two trees and three trees. Let's get started. We're going to start by writing the template for processing a two tree and the template for processing a three tree at the same time. Let's start with writing the template for process two. There's two possibilities, so we're going to have a con with two clauses. In the first clause, the only piece of information we have is the number TT. In the second case, we have two pieces of data. Let's extract those with the selectors. Both two first and two second produce three trees, so we need to have a reference to the template for three trees. That's process three, which we're defining right now as well. Now we've completed the template for process two, let's turn our attention to process three. Again, there are two possibilities, and the first clause looks just the same. In the second case, we're going to have three selectors. Each of these three things is a two tree. That means we need to reference process two for each of them. Now we've completed our template for both process two and process three. When we write functions that handle mutual recursion, we're always going to need two functions, one for each of the data definitions. We're also always going to need to use both templates to define our function and to re reference back and forth between these two functions.